Hello, everyone out there. Happy pre Mother's Day. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> Look who I have here. I'm so sorry. The infamous <laughs> Miss Marshmallow of Woodlands, Texas. Hi, the everybody. The famous dance teacher. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. Thank you, Miss yes. Tony. Yes, That's yes, so yes. sweet of you. You guys, listen, today we were talking on the phone this morning, as we do most often, most mornings. I don't know if you know, but this is a dear friend of mine. It's been, what, nine plus years now. One of the very first people I met mm -hmm. when I came to the Woodlands mm -hmm. as a single mom. Mm -hmm. We had and a I, lot in common. Yeah, I didn't know a lot of people, and um, I was blessed with this friendship. And here we oh, are. Thanks, sweetheart. Here That's we so are. Sweet. So we decided, why not? Hey, Thomas. How are you? Thomas, How are you? is that you? <laughs> oh. How are you today? Um, this is a great friend of mine, and we thought, what a great way to talk to, let all the special moms out there who are our friends, who are our family. This is kind of our tribute to you and our gift to you because we can't, like, obviously hug everybody and talk to everybody. Have, we have lots of info. Yes. I don't know yes. what's yes. good. You know, yes. some of it's kind of shady, <laughs> but we still have info. So I said, let me come over. I'm in her beautiful home, which, by the way, is going to be on the market. Yay! So any of my realtor friends, Ben Berner, how are you? Ben, ben? hi, buddy. How's look, it going? Look who I'm talking to, Ben. <laughs> so anyway, so we're here and we're chatting, and I thought it would be really cool for all my Facebook friends and family out there who do not know this beautiful woman to tell us a little bit about yourself, Miss Marsha. Um, I was single for 24 years. Single mom. Lost my husband in a car accident. And, and God blessed me with six children. I tried to date, but nobody wanted anything to do with me because I had no time. Nobody wanted to go sit in a softball park at 100 degree weather watching some kid play. So I made up my mind, I'm gonna raise my kids and get them all in college, get them off, and then I'm going to Take concentrate on me. And I did and I got married. Yay! Wow! <laughs> to Lloyd. Lloyd, Lloyd Merrill, if you're out there, amazing man, new city manager of Sealy. You guys hear me talk about him a lot, but they're just an amazing, amazing couple and so inspired, especially those of us who are working moms, single for a long time, not single anymore. A lot of you know my boyfriend, Randall, but I'm still inspired by her story and by, I don't want to even tell you how many times I've called this woman and <laughs> said, what do I do? What, what would you do? What would, where, what? Give me some direction. So that's why I, I think, thought it was cool. I think experience is the best teacher. If you have experience, you can. And one thing I learned, Miss Tony, is that the less you care what anybody else thinks, the more positive and the more confident and the more successful you are as an individual. When I was younger, I was always worried about, am I doing this right? Or what are they going to say? Or, you know, and now I don't, I don't give a flying fig. Yeah. So I kind of thank you for I using the appropriate language on my fig, show. Flying <laughs> fig. Hey George, how are you? So, so I and this things just they just kind of take off when you believe in yourself and do your own thing. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, Yay. Yeah. I'm really and I, I feel I feel so blessed to have had her with me at the studio we worked at for years. Um, she is now about to retire. No. No, I'm, go I'm not retiring. I'm moving. Okay, so give I'm them still teaching. Give them the scoop. Give them the scoop. Scoop. I've been teaching at a local studio here for 25 years, and my and and my husband was sitting watching TV. He was retired as a city manager in Madisonville, Kentucky, and we were watching TV. And he kept picking up shoes and throwing it at the TV every time something something political came on. So I said, "Honey, just go back to work." If that's what you want to do, just go back. So he goes, eh, okay, I'll try. So he applied, and he got it. And we're like, ooh, now what do we do? Now you have so to work. Now, we, now he's got, yeah. But anyway, <laughs> he's, he's in Sealy, and it's perfect because my time is up at this other place, and I'm going to move to Sealy in about a month. And I'm so excited. I'll be teaching little gifted children, little kids in autistic and kids in wheelchairs. And, oh, I'm just so excited about doing it. I'm just, she, I can't, she is one I can't of the, wait. She is wait. just amazing. Hey, Roby Chop, I saw you out there. Shaylin, Bruce, I Shank, I hope, I hope I'm saying your name right. Listen, this is enough. a special woman. Look, she, she could retire. She could get on cruise ships. She can go away. She could travel. Mm, I don't want to do that. And she, and she wants to start a dance program in Sealy 
for special needs children. That's that's the kind of person that's right. I that really, she I is. Really, I'm so excited about it. I really am. And so I woke up this morning. I told my boyfriend Randall I want to interview five moms for the next five days. As my because there's two things I do really big. If people who know me, birthdays and Mother's Day. Because everybody's got a mama. Right, exactly. They wouldn't be here right. if they didn't have a mama, right? Yeah. Hey, Antonio Rodriguez. We got the same last name. I like that. <laughs> so, is that a cousin? I don't know. We could be related. Okay. There's a th there's a thousand of us, I think, okay. in the woodlands. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so I thought it would be really cool to interview Marsha, Miss Marshmallow is what they call her at the dance studio. Everybody loves her. I've never met a person who didn't love this woman, and I thought. I'm going to interview on day five my mom on Sunday, which she's a little skeptical, but I said, Mom, you're brilliant. She's a beautiful speaker. She's a beautiful she woman, and she's she met is. her. Good friend of Marsha's. She, she's a gorgeous. And I just think that it would be great to culminate <laughs> Mother's Day with my mom at the Palacio Hotel on the Riverwalk in San Antonio, which is where I'm from, with all my brothers and sisters. So you guys stay tuned every day until Sunday, and let your mom. Can I go yeah, I'm taking her. Sorry, Lloyd. <laughs> Going on a road trip. Okay. Girls weekend on mom's weekend. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> I'll be back in a couple years. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I just thought it would be fun. Like, it's just, I love having Bubble Talk and my show. She doesn't drink, so she's having water. But, and just doing what I want. It's so much fun. Hey, Jeff Emerson. So, give some advice. Like, what can we learn from your wisdom and your, I mean, how long were you a single mom before you met Lloyd? Uh, from 1991 to 2014. Wow. 2013, 14. In With there. six, say six kids, you guys. L60. L60. <laughs> can you believe thing. that? This woman. I'm Irish Catholic. What can I say? On a dance That's teacher salary. I mean, no offense yeah. to all the all the dance directors out there, but you you and I know the it's grind. That, it's just uh, I didn't do it alone. I really didn't. I did. I, I look back at that now, and I have no idea how I did that. If if the Lord would have told me, here's your lot in life, I said I'm not doing that. I can't like, do that. Please, no. I can't. I. But you get you just go through things, and it presents itself, and you get through it. Because there are people who need you, and you just keep moving, and it works. And one thing I, I was telling Tony this morning when we were talking, one thing, my motto in life is do unto others. It works any situation, any place, any time with anybody. And it I mean, it's just like you treat them the way you want. They might be having a bad day. Even the garbage man. It, the garbage the man. The guy at the anybody, post office. The guy that yelled at us out here for the garbage. Yeah. He was, he was, mm, he, he was, was a beast. Yeah. He was uh, Indian. I said, but you know, hi. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. You just, just maybe they're having a bad day. You never know where anybody's coming from. Like the little kids that would come into my room mm -hmm. for dance. Mm -hmm. You never know if they got yelled at in mm -hmm. the car. Their parents are getting a divorce. Or, or, or they, you know, they smack their brother and sister. And, and you know, I say, you never know. So when they come in. They're I'm, yours, I'm the one that has to give them maybe some sunshine in their day. And she's, I've always thought like that. She's because, my sunshine. Because when I was little, I give, I give other people what I never had as a child, too. That's one thing I want to tell you. And you got to tell people. People think, oh, well, she's, this friend of hers has probably had a perfect life. Or this Tony Rodriguez has probably had, like, rich parents mm. from Mexico City. And wrong, 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 wrong. We are real just like you and and that's that's why I thought Marsha would be perfect to be the first mom that I interview whoops oh no okay hi yeah. we're back sorry S sorry <laughs> <laughs> I thought Marsha would be the perfect person so we've had strife you know I oh, met yeah. you when Thomas was in first grade my son is now in 10th grade mm -hmm. um, she was the first person that I called my son was hit by a drunk driver what, seven years ago, maybe eight years ago now? Mm -hmm. um, she was the first person that I called to come over and take care of little Thomas who was asleep and I didn't know if my son was still alive. It was a very dark, traumatic time in my life. And, and you're a widow. Yeah, it's not, it's, it's not difficult. It's like, if that was you, I mean, you would just, please help me. 
Right. So, so you give that to other people what you never got or what you need or what you think you would like. It's real easy. It's not that hard. And they always say it's surround yourself. Hey, Paul Ballon, he's one of my students, one of my babies. Hey, Paul, thanks for watching. They always say to um, surround yourself with, with people, happy people, with happy, good, positive good. people, and Absolutely. that's why. Absolutely. This woman has always been such a good friend of mine because Absolutely. I think it's, it's important for us to surround ourselves with positivity. Well, like I said, I give other people what I need. So tell everybody, um, you don't have to tell them your age, but tell everybody you what you're doing right now. This woman's incredible. I, I meet her in, at the gym. <laughs> Tell them what you do. You're starting a new career. You're I'm starting a new buying career a new house. In Sealy. I got married two and a half years ago. And we're, we're buying a house in Sealy. Like I said, I'm going to be teaching there. And my husband's a city manager. And we, and I don't, I guess I don't think about age to me because God has blessed me with health. So what I, so I just can, I remember when I was about 39 and I was turning 40 a couple years ago. Um, <laughs> They said, you can't let your hair go long. When you turn 40, you, you need to get your hair cut because women, and I was like, watch me. And I've had long hair my whole life. I, it, it just, you gotta do what you, yeah, there you go. You gotta, I should take this out, but I'd scare people. Uh, it, it, so you just have to do what you, you know, yeah. what you think is good for you. And, and what the kids, feels right. yeah, and my kids, I've got six. They're all college graduates. And I didn't ask them, if they were going to college, I said, pick a school. I gotta tell you about Daniel, he's number, he's number five. Daniel goes, I said, Daniel, do you have a school picked out yet? Yeah, mom, University of Colorado. I said, well, good, do they have what you want? You know, I know you like math and you like all that kind of business and uh, what are they? Well, I actually wanna learn how to ski. And I said, that would be the wrong answer, pick up. <laughs> Pick a school in Texas that you like, and after a year, well, he picked Texas Tech, and he graduated from there, and now he's, you know, flying high in California, so he's good. But, I mean, and Brian, my second, liked to draw, so we'd be on a trip or something, and I'd take a pencil and paper and throw it in the back seat without saying anything, and he would draw the back of our heads and the, and the uh, dashboard of the car, nice. so without saying, would you draw something, you know? Just, be busy. Just do it. Just do it without them knowing it. And boys are easier to raise than girls. Don't believe it. Don't believe it for a second. You have two boys. Don't believe it for a I second. I have three. <laughs> boys are Christina easier to Flores, raise than girls. Christina Flores, how are you? The girls wow, are like, oh, really? You, We're getting tips yeah. from, this you, is Miss Marshmallow, if the you ask, best mom in the world. If you ask a girl to do something. Why, it's not my, why do I have to do I do I, 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 You know, and they go on and on for four days, okay? Yeah, yeah. A boy go, oh, geez, mom. He throws his head against the wall. All right. He goes out and plays a game of basketball, but he's in there within an hour, and it Doing gets it. done. Girls, you know, you could, uh, you could have something hanging hey, off. Hey, Tracy your... Green. Tracy, Tracy Green. Green. <laughs> you, could, you could have Hey, some, Rebecca. You could have something growing on you, and she wouldn't wipe it off. I yeah. mean, girls are just like, they yeah. don't, they don't, they're real emotional. Yeah, you and think? I'm more like a guy because I had four brothers. And I think I'm kind of like yeah. Well, I'm sometimes. kind of like, come on. Sorry, babe. Sorry, Randall. That's <laughs> not sexy. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not like, kind of guyish. Kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. I'm really um, feminine. Anyway, so yeah. We, uh, anyway, so I mean, it's just you know, just one thing I wish I would have done more as a mom. Yeah. Please tell is us. Be more. Um, well, having six, it was hard, and I, there was a time I had three jobs. Say this loud because I know people are like. But Leaning in. the one special one-on-one -on -one time, I wish I would have taken more time, like, to when they're coming in from school and you got six kids hanging around and somebody needs this and somebody, just to take one at a time and put them in my lap and say, how was your day today? Did you get yelled at in school for anything? She's make me cry. What happened? What happened? And I never, and I, I didn't do that. If I had to do it over again, I would. I would really take maybe one or two out at a time you know, for dinner or shopping, but it was always all of them, and it was just, you know, helder skelter. Yeah. And if my, I couldn't have done it without the kids. My, I have the best kids. She does. They are just I, fantastic. I've, I've met, just, I was at her wedding, and I they are met fantastic. her kids. She's blessed in so many oh, ways. They are just uh, great kids. And you know what? I know it's been a struggle, because I've been here with you for nine mm -hmm, years, mm -hmm. and she's been here for me for nine years, and we're here to support Moms. All the working moms out there, you we guys. We love you, moms. We know what you're going through. Oh my! Yes. Let us let us be your inspiration. If you want to private message me 
or yes. Marsha, she's on Facebook for advice or what. I'm, we're not perfect by any means, by any means. I'm close, but. But no, yeah, she's working. close, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> but I was telling Kidding. her on the way here this morning that one of the greatest jobs, the greatest job that I've ever had is being a mom. It's absolutely. the hardest job, absolutely, absolutely. the it's, hardest it's job. It's so rewarding. It's just, I know that sounds like a cliche. I know, it is. and they're like these you two cheesy back, broads. You look back at it. <laughs> But it's true. It. <laughs> we love. Hey, Sorrel. I love being a mom, and I and I think it's important that we like really listen to people who have experience. She has six children. Six, you guys. That's that crazy. doesn't seem like a lot to me. I don't know. I I I'm I come keep from drinking a while she talks like this. <laughs> I had four brothers and one sister, so I was used to being around kids. My parents had twenty eight grandchildren, so I've always been around the Irish Catholic thing, so it just, I, I, I never thought of not having any. Right. I never thought of limiting him, I just didn't think like that. And the beauty so. of it is if you, hey Sorrell, how are you? If you ever get to meet Lloyd Merrill and Marsh Merrill out and about, all of you in Sealy, you're lucky and you're blessed. I would die to have this woman as my neighbor. Like, don't shoot me, but I, but I would really, <laughs> I mean, there's such good people. Like, I just, they radiate great energy. I want to, hey, Ruth, Ruth Dumont, hey, how are you? Hi, sweetie. So, they just radiate great energy, and people like her on Mother's Day, I don't have my mom here in San Antonio. I'm not going to, she's in San Antonio, I'm not going to cry. I'm not saying don't she's cry. like my mom, because she's like my sister. And, and I feel like sisterhood is... Any working mom out there that is, you know, on the grind, working every day, trying to get the kids off to school. I mean, you guys can relate. It, we need to be surrounded by other strong women. It'll pay off. Strong it'll women. Pay off. Keep yes. at it, moms. Keep at yes. it. It'll pay She's off. in England with her mom. Who Ruth. Is? Ruth Duans. Hi, Ruthie. mom. <laughs> Ruth has an amazing mom, too. Happy Mother's Day, Happy Ruthie's mom. mom. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. We have a viewer from England. Yay. I feel like crying. Don't cry because I'm okay. crying. Okay. Cry, cry. We can't cry. No. We're, not We're not crying. And she's drinking water and yeah. she's crying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not vodka, I promise. So we got to put our Happy Mother's Day sign up. I wish my mama was here, but you know. I know. So let's, let's talk about that because there's so many friends of mine. I know Randall, my boyfriend, and his sisters just recently lost their oh, mom. Randall did, that's right. Yeah, yeah. and so. What do we say to people that it, it's Mother's Day? I have another friend I know it, today's going to be, this weekend it's going to be hard for him too. I have a girlfriend whose mother is gone now too from cancer. So what, what do we do? What do we, what do we think about? Do we just embrace um, those great memories? You or? just think, you think happy and stuff. And you just lost your brother. Yeah, three weeks ago I lost one of my little brothers. Um, you just think about, he's up there drinking beer with mom and dad. He's fine. He's awesome. So you yeah. think about stuff like it's just another it's another realm, you know. It's another not, process. You don't have right? a body, but you're still there, and you're just you know having fun. There's no pain. There's nothing of that stuff, and you're having fun. So I think about my mom running around with my dad, my, you know, tiptoeing through the tulips or whatever they do up there, <laughs> and you know, and just hanging out with relatives. And it's just think about it as in a beautiful in another, way, right? Yeah, they're big. You'll visit them someday. Just can't get to them right now. Right. It's just a, it's just a whole different. Don't think about they're dead during the ground, you know that kind of stuff. Yeah, it like my work. mom. Um, don't do that. Just think positive. They're having. They're. We're all here to get there anyway. And we're gonna be. This together is like again. a blink. I read a book once after my dad died and after my husband died. It said, you should you should think about Earth um, as being um, in kindergarten. So this is kindergarten. Then when you die, you get to a higher level, and you teach people, and they teach you. When you get to heaven, and you learn stuff, and um, until you're so perfect that you reach the face, or you can see the face of God. So it's like kindergarten, first grade, second grade, and you just keep working up to a level. So that's what I. That's what I. Uh, that's how you think. We're in kindergarten. Oh Lord, we have a long way to go. <laughs> wow, wow. We got to keep moving. <laughs> so just be good to people. Yeah, just, for sure. Just treat everybody the way you want to treat her, how they want to, how you want them to treat your children. You'll be fine. Just words, be, words of wisdom, you guys, on this Mother's just Day. Just be That's, kind. Just be kind. Be nice. Be nice and be kind. So here are a couple of things as we wrap it up. This is our Mother's Day tribute, Mom. If you're out there watching, love you so much. Cannot wait to get to San Antonio and spend Mother's Day with you and interview interview you on Sunday. Don't you chicken out. Yeah, she is. So Mary I'm Helen, gonna, Mary I'm, Helen, don't you chicken out. I'll come find <laughs> you. Better I know where you live. You. Yeah, I'm, you. I'm so excited to get to see her. But listen, I want to talk about a couple of things. My big show rolling out next Thursday at 4 o'clock. 
tomorrow, Thursday at 4, is our practice, episode 0. So if you want to tune in and see how that rolls out, tune in tomorrow at 4 o'clock. I'll let you know how next week's going to go. Hey, Michaela, how are you? I want to thank Spoken About, Randall Chestnut. Amazing, amazing marketing company. Been my comp <laughs> my support team, Randall Chestnut. Um, thank you so much. You guys check me out on my YouTube channel at Tony Rodriguez. Look for Stretch Your Lifestyle. Um, also, Monday the 14th, I am going to be with um, the Caffeinated Showgirls. And I'm going to be modeling in their event on at 1 o'clock at Proper Marketing on 5001 Blossom Street. It's for all real estate agents. Sorry, only real estate agents. It's about dressing for business. So I'm going to be modeling in that show. I know. I would, well, you maybe maybe she can come. We'll see. <laughs> so I'm so excited about working with those ladies again. If you haven't watched the Caffeinated show, please watch it. I'm excited to be modeling and getting to pick out some clothes. Yes, go ahead. Let's, One thing let's talk I want to it. say before we say goodbye is uh, the reason that that we bonded is because we have so much in common. In common. Let's talk about that for a, a second. A lot in common. We have time? Yeah, sure. Tick, tick, tick. This is our show. We can we oh, can talk well. all day. We're here until uh, um, I have to teach at dance ball. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. We both have the same kind of background. Yes. You know, Roman Catholic. We're both in, uh, we said the family rosary every night on our knees. Uh, went to all girls Catholic school. Had a lot of Tony time. had a Tony had that when we talked it just God was brought into it back and forth and back and forth and we just we think alike we believe alike and it's just cool I just really like it it's nice to I remember telling your mom that that it's nice to have somebody who can you say something they go yeah I know that right you know you don't have to try and convince them or talk to them or they go yeah they right. get it they yeah, get it right when away. you we when just, you come from the same background yeah. Yeah, so, when your so, kids are first, when you're right. a single mom your priorities at the time, are in order. right? You got to get your priorities in order. You really sure. Do. Like I said, I, I couldn't date. And she liked football. We're both. I love sports. I'm a sports fanatic. I used to coach basketball. And so. she is too. Like I actually understand the sport. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I'm not one of those that. girls that dresses up and goes to the sporting <laughs> no, events and no. has no clue. Yeah. I'm the girl where everybody's up in the sweet drink and I'm like, I really want. Shh. <laughs> Zip Hold it. on. Zip it. Hold on. Which, exactly. You know, faces exactly. are loaded. Come on. Exactly. Ah, let's go, Strode. That's why we're like guys. We're kind of like boys. Yeah, like that. yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. Well, you know, hey. And we would, and seriously, go out. I remember the first time we went out. Can I tell them the first time we went out? I don't care. You remember? Not this was remember a long time it. ago because you'll know because the Texans were actually going to the playoffs. Oh, Lordy. That was a long time that ago. That was 1912. <laughs> when was it? <laughs> so we went to BJ's Brew House. This is when I found oh, out, hey, talking. Johnny Hines. That she didn't drink wine or alcohol or anything. She only drank beer because she's allergic to tan the tannins, right? And wine or? Uh, uh, sulfites. 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 Sorry, sulfites wrong. Not tannins. Wine. So anyway, I was like, God, she's a beer drinking, like sports loving <laughs> Catholic. Oh my God. I mean, oh my gosh. Sorry, mom. And um, so we were raised the same way and she was a single mom. We were both dance teachers at the same dance studio. Well, I had four brothers. She looked so. like Linda Evans, too, by the way. We walked into this place, and I'm like, okay. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, like, these oh. dudes were looking at her, and I was like, hey, yo. Who's that? Who? Me in the back. Oh. <laughs> Go. So we had so much Idiot. fun. And she was just, oh, my gosh, so, so amazing. And then we just, All right, we're that's good. how our relationship that's how our relationship evolved. Yeah, it's good. It's a, it's a Tony's a kind of Tony's the kind of person that if you need somebody, you know you can pick up the phone and she's there. She'll be there for you no matter what time of day. She's like the she's like Roto Rooter. They work all all year round. <laughs> I've never been compared to a Roto Rooter. <laughs> you just pick them up and my thing. She's like that. You can call her about anything and she's right there for you. I need this. I okay. I'll be right there. Hold on. So we had that in common. And I think that's why when I became a real estate agent, I mean, she was, she's an amazing client and I didn't want to bring that whole business side of it in, but she knows she can count on me. Right. She knows I was going to find her the most amazing right. house. And, and all you realtors out there know, you've got to really know your client. You've got to really understand what their needs are so that you can provide the best optimum service for them. And that that's another reason why we're such good friends. And then from this, I got other, she recommended me, and you know, the list goes on and on. That's why your sphere of influence is so important. And then they're not just numbers. You don't just like, hey, that's listing number one. That's 
I stay in contact with her. I'm at her house, by the way. This, is this lovely house. home. <laughs> this sun porch is going to be on the market next week. Next week. Right, 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 right. Six uh, tall sky place. place. So any of you realtors out there that need a place in Cochran's Crossing in the Woodlands, I'm your girl. 713-677-1318. Let's get it. Crack a lacking. And Tony, <laughs> Tony, when we walked into a house together in Sealy, we both did a U-turn and said, next. I mean, we both had the same, next. So we were, We didn't you know, even have to, have to say words. Yeah, we you just know, kind of looked around, walked out. I know what they want. I know what they're yeah, looking for. Good. So that's good. I'm not going to waste your when time. When she knows your personality, then she knows kind of how she wants. So it, it kind of just goes together. We both will give one eyebrow and walk out, you know. Or this kind of look. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? It makes work so much fun and yeah, so more relaxed. Fun. Yeah. You and I fun. take, and there have been moments, she can tell you, where they're a little stressed out. And I say, look, it's okay. I'm going to handle it. We'll get it. Breathe. Just breathe. <gasps> yeah. You know, your offer's not always accepted. There's counter offers involved. I'm your bulldog negotiator. Boom, boom. I'll get it done for you. Trust me. She can tell you. And, yeah. And if you don't, <laughs> if you don't get something you want, you're not supposed to have it. Amen. Just, just let it go. Next. Amen. If somebody, if somebody's got, I always believe it's out, all of, right. out of something bad. Come something good. And the bad didn't Please happen. Say that to all the, the bad moms didn't out there. happen. The good wouldn't be able to happen. So just take a deep breath. When something you know a negative happens, it's all right. It's supposed to. It's all right. It's good. Go through it and then jump over the hurdle. There you go. The good thing's down the road. It's waiting for you. Get down there. Hurry up. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. So it works. We are going to say bye bye to you. You guys, listen. Happy Mom's Day to all our. Every single mom, Is it married, single, I think it goes this way. No, it's backwards. No, it's backwards. Good, backwards right? No, that's right. Happy Mother's Day. Okay. Um, follow me on Instagram, Tony underscore Rodriguez one. Hey, Randall. Hey, babe. Randall hi, finally Randall. Came on. Hi, babe. <laughs> oh, that's your please, babe. Never mind. <laughs> please like and please share this video. I want to say thank you to all my followers. I have so many amazing people that tell me every day that I inspire them, that their kids listen to me, that they hear my voice sometimes upstairs, <laughs> which is kind of weird. They're like, my 11-year-old is like obsessed Aww, with you. <laughs> that's so cute. That's good. Which makes me feel Children. amazing. Children are the best. Thank you, Johnny. Tell your wife, happy Mom's Day. So please listen to these beautiful words from this amazing friend. We've been through yeah. so much together. This is the first mom of five moms that I'm going to interview um, I just feel so lucky and so blessed that you're my I, I friend. I hope I didn't scare you away. No, of course not. Well, got, this is Her name's yeah. Miss Marshmallow. It gets better. Because how many, <laughs> let's just say real quick, how many dance students do you think you've taught in the women's <sighs> area in the last well, 25 years? If you had to put them, a number. Some of them are having children now, or some of them have already had the children, and I'm like, oh, really? If you had a, just, I don't know. Yes. What do you think? You know. I do know because I was a director with her. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, tw I don't know. What? Thousands. Would have to be thousands. thousands. Probably thousands. Yeah. Thousands. Sure. Can, 25 we, say, years? can yeah. we say 5,000 in 25 years? Does that sound right? I think I it's think more. I think so. Yeah. I think it's more. This woman yeah. has influence. Look, Michaela McGraw says, Miss Marshmallow. <laughs> hey, you guys like and share this. Pass this on. Amazing woman. If your kids are out there, what would you like to... Tell your kids, like, I hope I didn't embarrass you kids. My something. children? Yes. You notice they're not on there. <laughs> that's one. That's but they one. will be. So tell them something. The, Let's see what. Patrick. Let's name love, them all and say okay, something. Okay, Patrick is an executive chef. Hi, Pat. Hi, Uncle Patrick. Uncle, as I recall him. Okay. Uh, and then my son, Brian, is an architect in New York. Hi, Bri. Hi, Bri. Build some buildings. Do yeah. what you do out there. Molly is an executive producer for ABC. Go, Mal. Ma, get me on ABC. Yeah, hurry. Okay. Now. I'm getting old. <laughs> yeah. Stop. If you're old, I'm ancient. Okay. Uh, Patrick, Brian, Molly. Katie is my mama. She's right around the corner here with two little boys. Uh, Katie. Katie's working around, looking for, oh, she's got a, she's got a. A website. On, uh, it's on the. Uh, um, oh, we're like. Etsy. Blind. It's Etsy? on Etsy, and it's called Moo Maid. M-O-O-M-A-D-E. Oh, she knits. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, 
you know, gloves that come like where your fingers show and anklets and hats and headbands and scarves and excellent. Yes, she yes, just yes, started yes. that. Darren, how Don't are you, Don't be mad, Darren? Katie. I almost forgot. Yeah. Patrick, Brian, Molly, Katie. Daniel is in California. He's uh, Mr. Business Administrator that works with uh, numbers and stuff. I'm not sure what he does, but he's something out there. <laughs> but uh, he's good. He's good. Yeah, but he's not skiing because yeah. he didn't get to go to the University of Colorado. He went to Texas Colorado. Tech. Yeah. And my daughter, Izzy, is a uh, Houston firefighter with a with a year old baby and she was my softball player hey randall 16 years of softball she was all state and mvp for four years in high school she's so a houston of, firefighter a houston female fire. houston firefighter she's this, something she's my hero she's something that's thank something you all you first responders and all yeah all you police officers god love you and you firefighters amen and, oh man paramedics and i don't know how you guys do it yeah you get up in the morning, you don't know if and you're coming And she's a mama. Home. And she's a mama. Yeah, <laughs> and my right. son just sent me a text message. <laughs> Mom, drop off the shoes and shorts at the Y. <laughs> During a Facebook Live, you see? Always a mom. We are really moms. So, you <laughs> guys, mom. happy Mother's Day. Tune yeah. in tomorrow. I'm going to have another surprise mom every day until Sunday when I get to interview my own beautiful mom yeah. Yeah. on Sunday. I'm so yeah. excited. Happy Mother's Day to all happy the moms Mother's out there. Day. Thank you so much for happy letting Mother's me come day, in your guys. home. Bye, you guys. Bye. Peace. Happy Mama's Day. <laughs>